In Swift, class initializers are a little bit more complicated than struct initializers. Well, a lot more complicated. But with some careful cherry picking, we can focus on the part that really matters. If a child class has any custom initializers, it must always call the parents initializers after it's finished setting up its own properties, if it has any. Like I said previously, Swift will not automatically make for us a member-wise initializer with classes. It applies with or without inheritance happening. It will never make a member-wise initializer for your class. So you either have to write your own initializer or provide default values for all properties in your class. Let's start with a class. This one here is called vehicle. It has one constant property called is electric, a Boolean, plus an initializer that copies a Boolean into that property. Remember, using self here is required. It makes it clear we're saying copy the parameter into the property and not the other way around or something else bizarro. Now let's say you want to make a new class called car, inheriting from this vehicle class. You might start out writing something like this. Class car inherits from vehicle, good. Let is convertible bool, okay. Init is convertible bool, and then copy that into the property. But Swift will refuse to build this code. It'll say, ain't gonna happen, I cannot work with that, because we have said this thing comes from the vehicle class. That's its parent class. And that needs to know, is this an electric vehicle or not? But we haven't provided a value for that. It doesn't understand. Now what Swift wants us to do is provide car with an initializer that includes its own data, is convertible or not, plus the data of a vehicle, is it electric or not? But rather than try and store is electric in the subclass, we instead have to pass it on up to the superclass. We have to ask super superclass vehicle to run its own initializer. Let's go to Xcode. You can see it's complaining loudly at me here because of the bad code. In our class initializer, we have currently is convertible bool. I'm going to add is electric bool to that. Set our own property. And when we're done, go ahead and call super.init is electric, is electric, like that. That makes our code much happier. There we go. So super is another one of those values that Swift automatically provides to us, just like self. It allows us to call up to methods we inherited from a parent class, such as, in this case, its initializer. You can use, you use it with other methods too if you want to. You can say super dot something else, super dot do work. It's fine, also works. It's not just initializers. And now that we have a valid initializer in both our classes, we can make an instance of car. We could say, let Tesla X equals a car. And we'll do is electric, true, is convertible, false. And that's fine. Now tip for you, if a child class does not have any of its own initializers, it doesn't need custom initializing, it will automatically inherit the initializers of its parent class. So I might be able to say, get rid of this initializer here and say it's uh, not convertible by default. And now we'll inherit automatically the regular is electric initializer from the parent vehicle type. This code will run just as well. 